Hello Hampanos, welcome back. There is one composition tool that is used so often that will make your composition sound so much better and also make them easier to create, remember and play. It sounds too good to be true but it's not and that tool is repetition. Repetition. <laughs> so let's explore repetition in melody. Let's say we've got a little bass line that sounds like this. and a melody that is super repetitive. For instance... Very positive sounding. It works! Maybe I can start to change just small little things about it, but not too much. repeating and repeating but because there's other oh, tiny little inflections going on here and there it still feels interesting that repetition is holding it together as a very listenable piece but there's enough going on to enjoy so let's explore repeating sections then. This is more in line with the kind of verse chorus verse chorus style of music that you'll hear on the radio or whatever. One section that repeats often chorus or you could call that a theme as well and then other sections that repeat um, that are similar to each other but change a little bit maybe verses um, or whatever so let's say I've got a chord progression there's my section one so let's completely change it up to create another section that is wildly different but still works together. Something like this. So when I play those together... completely improvised by the way, so I apologise for any mess ups. Um, but you can switch between those two sections and it still feels linked even though they're completely different from each other. One is an arpeggio and the other is flat chords. But because I'm repeating things again, so the first section comes in after the second section again, then it starts to feel linked and it starts to make sense as a composition. So you can play around with that, repeating sections, linked in different ways, put together, these little building blocks put together in different ways. All right, moving on then. Repetition in mistakes. In the famous words of Adam Neely, repetition legitimizes. If you are playing or jamming, improvising, whatever you're doing and you play something wrong, do it again and do it with confidence. Because what happens is your brain recontextualizes it. So when you hear that repetition, it sounds intentional and musical. So I'm just gonna jam for a little bit, see if you can notice my mistakes. So I used a couple of clashing notes there, right at the beginning, which was this. So I brought it back in again, and I flammed it a little bit, one note after the other, because when you separate the notes a bit more, it sounds a little bit prettier, as opposed to this, right? And that clash suddenly, hopefully, became a little bit more listenable. So how much repetition is too much repetition? I think the answer to that is subjective. 
in my opinion, there is no such thing as too much repetition, as long as it's done well. I'm a big fan of minimal and ambient music and all of that kind of thing, so maybe I'm biased. But if you utilize this one other tool that I made a video about, check out here, then you can use that in combination with repetition to enhance your compositions and improvisations, make them easier to play and also much more expressive and dynamic. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.